Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and on my channel I share all about curriculum reviews. I do flip throughs for you guys so you can see the inside of these really awesome workbooks or any really good literature that I think is worth sharing. I also do homeschool updates and I like to do book hauls and all of those fun things sharing with you guys how I use my homeschool planner. So if you like any of that, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys join Mama Shmoo's Homeschool Reviews. So I'm going to get into this right now so you can see exactly what I got from Evan Moore. It's a homeschool math bundle for grade two. I do have the daily math practice for grade one that we were using this year and I have a flip through. So I will link that video down below but I wanted to first start sharing math fundamentals with you guys for grade two now this is the common core state standard so this is a book that is going to be a game changer for a lot of homeschool parents or parents in general helping with their kids homework or teachers you could pause this page if you want to see everything that they're gonna be going over but like I said they're gonna be going over all of the state standards all the common core state standards so they're going to be talking about place values, math strategies, um, analyzing shapes, measuring time and money. And then I wanted to get right into the book so I could share it with you guys so you can see exactly how it looks and how it's set up. So this is going to be about word problems. This math model, they use clusters to help the kids visualize how to put together it and how to take it apart and how to compare. Then they also have an example showing them how to do a number sentence here. So 15 birds minus three equals 12 and they just go down on the number sentence and then here they use the cluster method and then they have them answer this question here, this math problem here. This then, is another um, solve the problem in two steps where they're using the 10 frames and I think that that's great so they can see Lily has 10 crayons and maths Matt has eight crayons, so all together they have 18 because they see the 10 frame here and then they see the eight and they could do their mental math pretty quickly. They're also they're showing you repeated addition to find the number of objects in a array. So this is going to help them in the future with multiplication. Talking about hundreds, tens, and ones, it's looking at a three digit number and it's breaking it up for you so that they could see what it looks like when it's broken up. Then they have an example here, and then they want them to do multiple choice. They have math so strategies here, how they decompose and compose, and how they can th how there are some ways to think about adding and subtracting and different like math models that they give you. So if one of the math models doesn't work for your kids, they can use another math model that might help them better. So it all depends upon how the kids see things and what makes sense to them. I'm going to jump over to measure and estimate length chapter where they talk about inches, feet, and yards and they kind of visually give you like an example. The plant is going to be six inches tall, the tree is going to be ten feet tall, the house is seven yards away. And then it has a little thinking owl right here that says, what things can you measure best with a measuring tape? Explain your thinking. They give you an example here with a ruler that is representative of inches and they're asking them is it five inches, seven inches, or eight? It's clearly seven inches, so it's really nice how they do that. They're talking about feet and yards. In this chapter, they're gonna go over time and money, and they give you an example of the analog clock and what it looks like. They label things very, very detailed so they can read the clock very well with the hour hand, the minute hand, and they have the skip counting by five so they can really tell time um, and use this to refer back to. They are showing you an example here and then they want you to match up the clock to the digital they clock. They talk about AM and PM and what AM means and what PM means and they give you examples and then they are going to have the students do multiple choice here. It is like just a little glimpse of what this workbook gives you guys and there's lots of answer keys on the back for the students to look back at to see if they got the answer right or for the teacher to use when you're teaching your kid one-on-one. -on -one. Now I'm going to go into the daily math practice which is very very cool because you can use this in the summertime to make sure that your kid does not forget a lot of the concepts that they learned in second grade or if they're advanced they can go up to the third grade level to help prepare them for their next grade that they're going to be in. There's like an answer key on the back on the teacher one and this one you can reproduce and make copies of especially if you're a teacher and you have multiple students or you're a homeschool mom and you have lots of kids that will be going through the same grade soon I would suggest getting this one I wanted to share with you the beginning the middle and the end so you can see 
what they'll be doing. There's 36 weeks in this book, so they can practice every day. If they want to use it in the summer, they could do a few days at a time. There are only five questions for each day. So week one, day one, they're doing this work. So they're reviewing probably things that they've learned um, in first grade at the end of the year. They're doing simple addition, subtraction, and time. They're doing word problems. And then on day five, they always have the daily math practice page fill up the like one page and it's not divided like these and this one they're doing graphs and they're answering three simple questions and on week two they're also doing an activity for the fifth day as well so I'm gonna go into the middle so let's go to week 16 this is day one they're doing double digit subtraction measuring problem solving and fractions comparing and time and then the fifth day they're doing an activity and then on activity two they're doing like a little drill subtracting um, how many can you do in one minute so you can time them or you don't have to time them it's totally up to you the last week for week 36 they're gonna be talking about subtraction addition um, write each number in the correct box even and odd so they're reviewing some stuff that they were talking about in the math fundamentals and they also are doing double digit adding, geometry, um, problem solving. And if you guys hear any birds, it's because I'm right next to the window and the birds are super loud. <laughs> okay, so there's time and then they're doing measuring. And then for this activity, they are talking about fractions and this one they're doing measurements. So these are the three workbooks that you get in the homeschool bundle for math for second grade. And I will try to do more bundles for you guys so you can check them out and see what it includes. And I could even go into the graders that are a little higher. If you're interested in that, please let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like these videos. I love sharing all this information with you guys because it's super helpful, I know, to see flip throughs and to see how people are using it in their homeschool. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.